When you think about a revolution, you think nothing will ever be the same again. And we feel that way with immunotherapy for cancer. April 11th in 2012, and that's the day we treated Emily Whitehead, our first pediatric patient with CAR T cells. She had a very high fever one night, and when it broke, she had no evidence of leukemia. Her T cells were working. Now we have the hindsight, almost five years later, she's still in remission and she's a normal child. What's exciting for me is to meet patients who've been treated and to see them go back to their everyday lives. Every single patient I have seen go through this has gone through this with courage and dignity and really have led the way and provide hope to so many more people. It's changed the way I practice surgery in the way that I'm much more hopeful, so it's really exciting. So the therapy that we started here in Philadelphia was initially three patients from our local Delaware Valley catchment area, and now our trials are international. That's really an exciting event and just the beginning of, of globalization of this new kind of therapy. We have seen a remarkable thing happen in cancer immunotherapy here at Penn. With that 20 or so years of basic immunology discovery led to the tools that could make this kind of therapy today. So we can now build on these cancer discoveries and these cancer successes to use the immune system for many other diseases as well. So we're all interested in waking up the immune system and using different elements of that immune system to develop therapies. We have everything here. Really, I think it's the only place right now in the United States where everything from conception of the idea to delivery in humans can be done in just one institution. There is a unique spirit and unique group of people here at Penn that really has allowed this to happen, to happen here, to happen now. The idea that this type of therapy can be developed in the course of seven years from the first patient treated to FDA approval is astonishing. Quite honestly, the FDA approval of CAR T cells means that yes, we, we can win this. We can do something that's never been done before. The FDA approval really gives a mark that, that we've made something happen, and it happened here in Philadelphia at the university, which is an incredible landmark. It's like landing on the moon, pretty much. You know it could happen, but you never thought it could happen. So there we are. All the components are in place to be able to make these great breakthroughs. This goes way beyond cancer. What we need, frankly, are resources to do this faster and, and more efficiently. Philanthropy has a role now to accelerate this so that it becomes universally available as rapidly as possible. So here's our promise to you. We're going to move fast, we're going to be impactful, we're going to get this done, and we're going to improve the lives of patients.